Hey there, Eli again coming at you from the fish room of OSA Coventry here to show off our latest shipment of saltwater livestock. We did just get a couple small orders in over the past couple weeks. So our tanks are looking nice and full again. We've got a good amount of variety. So without further ado, let's get into it. This 40 gallon tank in front of me has a handful of bruisers in it. It's got a large clown tank. It's got a Scopus tang that's proven to be a little bit aggressive in one of our other tanks, a couple of monos, and a tomato clownfish. And it's got a decent sized zebra moray eel as well. This next tank down here has a beautiful goatfish. He's quite large, probably six or seven inches right now. It's also got a beautiful spine cheek brim. This guy is a nice golden color. There's a four eyed butterfly fish in here as well, and a lunar wrasse. This next tank here has a beautiful copper band butterfly fish. Nice little blue spotted puffer. It's also got a male blue jaw triggerfish, diamond goby, a cleaner wrasse, an orange spot rabbit fish that's been here a couple weeks, and a smaller algae bunny. Next up, this tank has a Pakistani butterfly that's been here a little while. There's also a bicolor angelfish, a valentini puffer, another cleaner wrasse. This tank also has a couple gobies, a diamond goby, a pink spot watchman goby, a beautiful six bar wrasse, and a royal grandma. Up next, this tank still has that beautiful purple tang that you've seen once or twice by now. It's got an awesome radiant wrasse that's really active and about, a cute little longhorn cowfish, a Diana hogfish, which is something we don't get in terribly often, there's also a decent sized red chorus wrasse that started to transition and a beautiful lined dog face puffer. Down bottom here, this tank's got a nice one spot fox face, beautiful little candy hogfish. It's got another algae blenny, a dragon goby, one or two green chromuses left in this tank as well. One of the brightest yellow mimic tangs we've had in a while. There's also a Thompson tang that's been here a while as well, a swallowtail angelfish a larger copper band than the last one, and a Valentini puffer. Up next, this tank has a beautiful green bird wrasse, another little longhorn cowfish, a peacock puffer, a one spot fox face. This tank also has another cleaner wrasse. It's got a beautiful pintail fairy wrasse that's got some decent size to them, awesome colors as well. There's a small group of long spine cardinals, which happen to be one of my favorite cardinal fish, something you don't see terribly often. It's got a smaller mini tang and a royal grandma. Up next, this bottom aquarium has a two barred rabbit fish, a beautiful little long nose hawk fish. There's another copper band butterfly in this tank as well, a yellow angel fish, small group of purple firefish, another group of zebra bar gobies. There are a few scooter bunnies that have been here a little while. One of the nicest powder brown tangs that I've seen in quite some time here. A, another cleaner wrasse, six line wrasse, some small gobies on the bottom, and a royal grandma. This tank up top has a trio of blue gudgeons that are being a little shy now that they have new tank mates. It's also got another male blue jaw trigger. There's a powder blue tang in here as well as a chocolate mimic tang. This tank has another diamond goby, a cleaner wrasse, coral beauty angel fish, in addition to a two wide rabbit fish, a cool little freckled hawk fish, and a twin spot chorus wrasse. This tank down bottom is just loaded with smaller fish. It's got some of the largest red firefish I have ever seen here. It's got a smaller algae blenny, a handful of beautiful neon damsels, there's also an adorned wrasse, which is a really interesting halicorus species, similar to a melanurus, not something you see terribly often. There's also a Randall's Assessor, which is another neat little basslet, kind of similar to a royal grama. There's a small flamingo tang in here, as well as a, another powder brown tang that's also in decent condition to the other. Tank also has another cleaner wrasse, some beautiful ruby red dragonettes, and a carpenter's fairy wrasse. This tank up top has a handful of fish only or with caution fish. There is a beautiful porcupine puffer in here, an awesome juvenile emperor angel fish, one of the smallest, cutest little clown trigger fish that I've ever seen. There's also a dragon wrasse. It's probably three inches or so right now. Another really interesting species of wrasse that you don't see terribly often, but more suited for a larger fish only or a larger reef tank. In addition, this tank has a cleaner wrasse, a couple little yellow chorus wrasses, and a lavender tang. This tank here has another smaller flame fin to mini tang, another one spot fox face, 
a Timor Ras, which is another cool one that we don't see often, but he's being shy at the moment. Tank also has Diamond Govi, Six Land Ras, Royal Grama, beautiful little geometric pygmy hawkfish. That's something that I haven't really seen here. It's a really interesting small species of hawkfish that would be appropriate for quite a small aquarium. Also a beautiful larger coral beauty angelfish in here, a little hippo tang, and a dog face puffer. And this tank has a handful of the bullies that have been here a little while. There's a couple groupers, a Minianus and a cherry grouper. There's also a nice pink tail triggerfish, a falcula butterfly, and a couple new bolitans lionfish. And last but not least for the fish room, there's another Valentini pufferfish in this tank. There's also a small group of pajama cardinals. Beautiful pixie hawkfish front and center right now. There's also a spotted coal tang, another small copper band butterfly, a royal grama, and an algae bunny. That about wraps it up for all the new fish. Let's go take a look on the other side and check out the invert system that's also pretty freshly restocked for you as well. Alrighty, and for inverts, we are quite stocked as well. This tank up here has a chocolate chip starfish, got a bunch of peppermint shrimp, which have been harder for us to come by lately. There are also some orange linkia stars. There is a leopard grass in here somewhere a smaller arrow crab, some nasarius snails, and bumblebee snails. There are also some nice large turbo snails and a few tiger conks to sift the sand as well. Down bottom, this tank is loaded with Ocellaris clownfish. It's also got a handful of emerald crabs, a few tuxedo urchins that have been here a couple weeks now. There's still a few small orange spot watchman gobies in here, a bunch of trochus snails, some new tiger cocks, and also some sand sifting starfish. And there are also a good handful of blue leg hermit crabs, and these are a bit larger than the last batch that we got in. This next tank here has all the new little captive bred seahorses. It's also got a couple small bifurtitis leopard grasses, or the blue star leopard. There are some fromia starfish in here as well, which do tend to be reef safe. In addition to a mandarin goby, some red tuxedo urchins, couple more sand sifting stars, some large turbo snails. There are also some tiger sand sifting conks, a tiger tail sea cucumber, and a cocoa worm. This next tank has a bunch of white clownfish. It's got a few skunk cleaner shrimp in it, some yellow watchman gobies, beautiful little flame scallops, bunch of astrea snails, tiger pistol shrimps in here as well. Also a couple of those sand sifting conks and some red leg hermit crabs. Also a bunch of Kato algae if you wanted for your sumps or refugium. This next tank has all the Mocha Vinci clownfish, which came in quite nice. There are also some more fighting conks in here as well as some turbo snails. Couple pink and black sea cucumbers, a bunch of fire shrimp, some pencil urchins, also a couple tiger conks, another mandarin, a beautiful rainbow urchin, and a harlequin shrimp as well. Last but not least, this tank has all the Darwin clownfish. This has also got some sand sifting conks as well. There are scarlet reef hermits in here that have been here at least a week or two. Also has a handful of emerald crabs and trochus snails. Some camel shrimps as well. It's also got another pistol shrimp, another mandarin goby, a small arrow crab, and a harlequin shrimp as well. That about wraps it up for all the new stuff that we just got on our last fish shipments for salt water anyway. We also are quite loaded in corals right now. Just about every price category, every table at the Coventry location is loaded with corals right now. So if you're in the market for any new corals, fish, or invertebrates for your saltwater tank, come check us out this weekend or this coming week to see what we have to offer. As always, thank you guys for watching and keep on reefing.